J. Moten done over the course of the off season to get to the point where he you can rely on him to start in games? Yeah, he's he's worked his butt off. You know, from a, a physicality standpoint, he's always been a physical kid. You can pop on his. Uh, Film from high school, you can see that. But I think the area he's grown most at is just kind of becoming a complete player. You know, we we're asking a lot of him, you know, putting him in different situations. And for a young guy, you know, he's responding. RJ said he's pretty close with Dax, so that they watch film together pretty regularly. Do you see that relationship in practice? Do you see maybe Dax giving him some pointers? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have a close knit group uh, led by, uh, you know, Brad is our, you know, he's a leader back there. and. You know, um, you know, when RJ is not able to make it at a certain time, you know, depending upon his class schedule, you know, him and Dax have very similar schedules. And uh, the two of them, you know, usually come in on their own and watch film and or stay after. And you can see that bond with the two of them growing. From a recruiting aspect, when, when you have a maze out and, and that kind of that kind of night and, and how it looked, how does that play with recruits? What, are, what kind of message are you getting from them? Oh, it's, it's huge. You know, it's uh, – you know, that's that's what the kids look forward to now. Um, that's what, you know, as coaches and players, you look forward to that as well, and, you know, obviously our fan base. But from a recruiting standpoint, it was it was electrifying. The energy was high. Uh, the kids, you know, when they came, that's the one thing they all said was, man, you guys got to do that again. And, um, you know, it was, it was fun, especially when you win. Do you, did you get the sense that a lot of these guys are like, well, okay, Michigan, you know, maybe now weighing more toward, toward Michigan because of? Of yeah, because like a lot of you think about it, you know, a lot of the kids, this was their first game, you know, obviously uh, last year, you know, the COVID mm -hmm. season, kids weren't able to uh, attend games. So for those who, you know, we actually have kids that, are, you know, were in the boat committed who hadn't been to a game yet. Mm -hmm. And that was their experience, you know, uh, you know, uh, against Washington, the maze out and, you know, leave it like that, you know, just, <laughs> um, you know, that that's going to be the expectation for them. And, um, you know, I, I think from a recruiting standpoint, you know, we won that night, you know, on the field and, and in recruiting. When you were at West Bloomfield, you were on the opposite side of the recruiting, seeing all the coaches come in, and I imagine you saw a lot of different recruiting styles from coaches around the country. So how did that uh, sort of form into what you wanted your recruiting style to be, and, and how would you describe your style? Genuine. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, anyone who knows me, I think that's the word you probably use to kind of describe me as, uh, you know, just a person that's going to be real, trustworthy. Um, you know, I'm not, you know, use that word recruiting a lot. Sometimes it can mean different things. Like I'm just recruiting you to get you here. But for me, it's, it's developing a relationship. You know, when I, you know, develop relationships with kids and parents, you know, I, I want them to know me. I want to know them because at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, when you're playing games, you go through spring ball, you go through, you know, uh, you know, the actual season. But what's life like out of season? You know, you want to be able to you know, talk to your position coach about, uh, you know, different things. Like I said, my experience was, you know, Coach Carr and his staff, and, uh, you know, I'm biased in saying it, but that, that was one of the best staffs that could never be assembled simply because those guys were more than football. They were father figures to us, and, and I want to make sure I kind of, you know, carry that message to the kids that, uh, you know, that I'm recruiting. Link said on, on Monday's radio show that it's more than just confidence with this group right now. It's more drive and determination, and the new coaches have helped make football fun again for, for some of these players. How do you think you guys went about doing that? Uh, I think the fir first and foremost, get to know the kids. You know, you know, make sure they understand that they're loved. You know, we tell them we love them every day. You know, you're just kind of building that trust. And they know, you know, we have their back, they have our back. and. Uh, it's a brotherhood, you know, although Clink and I are older than, you know, our defensive backs, they understand that we've been through what, they, what they're going through and, you know, we're going to lean on each other. There's no finger pointing. It's no, you know, we're going to pick each other up. You make a mistake, let's figure out why we made a mistake, clean it up, pick each other up, hold each other accountable, and let's play ball. I've seen Rod Moore get out there a little bit when you guys have extra DBs on the field. Where is he at in his progression and what's allowed him to get out there and get some snaps? He's smart. Rod's a very, you know, you know, in his defense, especially from a safety position, you know, we asked a lot of our guys and, you know, for a young kid to come in and, you know, he took command, uh, you know, during uh, training camp and, you know, that's why he's able to get some of the early snaps. But, uh, but you know, Rod's a kid with a bright future and, you know, every day, you know, he's learning, you know, we are learning. And, uh, but Rod is, uh, you know, he's been a pleasant surprise thus far. And, you know, we're just going to keep developing him and putting more on his plate and, you know, seeing how he responds to it. How tested do you think your group has been through three games, and, and what do you think Rutgers will present? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, every week presents its own challenge, you know, um, you know, within the secondary, depending upon, you know, what the team want to do, or, you know, what they're capable of doing, you know, opposition. But, uh, you know, it, it's different. You know, Washington, we, we thought, you know, what we thought we were going to get, we got from them. Um, and the same is true of Western and uh, NIU. 
you know, Rutgers is going to present his own challenge. Uh, you know, those guys are, they're talented. 